Can can you see the white board? Can you see my typing? Can you see the words on the white board? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. L- listen. Not everyone can talk at the same time. So when you finish talking, you gotta click the talk off. Okay. If not, um, that's why maybe some people cannot hear themselves. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, the thing that we want to do is if you want to ask a question or say something, you can click on the little hand. You see my, my icon now have a little hand? Where? Okay, if you look at my name, there is a little hand hands up. Say I want to ask a question. Okay, let me take a screen uh, picture and then show you. Huh? Give me a minute. Hello? Oh, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello, who's that? Hmm. Okay, I can see Hong Tao raising your hand. Yeah. Where? Okay, um, you know where the main room is? There are 15 people inside already. We're waiting for the, the rest to come in. And Okay, Amanda, just uh, raise your hand. Hi, Amanda. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> Okay, for those who can't see yourself, um go to tools or app uh or window. If you go to tools, um see where you can see view or set up the video. Um let me just um okay, yeah, video. Also, I cannot see myself. You can't see yourself? Hey, I okay, can see um, but here cannot show my face. Why? Okay, you see on top of the black box, right? There is a video setup, I think. There's an audio setup and speakerphone setup, right? See whether or not that can uh, work or not, okay? I see already. I, 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 I press it, but comes out the... Not my face. Not your face. Okay, do you sign in with your, 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 do you yeah, sign in with your icon? Know okay, it doesn't matter. As long as you can see someone else, I think that's more important, huh? Because uh, some of us can see each other, some cannot, huh? But I suspect what has happened is the video here, only 3% can go in. Okay? Uh, because if not, the program will crash, right? So let's say if someone wants to go in, maybe the other person have to click the video off. Everyone got that? Okay, what what I'm saying is what I'm saying is the video connection, I think only three videos can be available at any one time. Oh, okay, I got so, it, I got it. Yeah. So right now we have three person online, so I think the next person to click on. So let's do this. Huh? I'll leave my video on for the rest of you. Only when you want to ask question, when you see the little hand, then you go on to click on video. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, because then that way, whoever is asking the question, we can see, yeah? All right, so like right now, um, I'll click on the little hand. So I'll see that hand now. So then what I'll do is I'll give you permission, okay? Okay, so um, the, okay. Now that the, there's only one other person, 
maybe what you can do is um, the person who couldn't see just now, um, you can try and click on video and see where I can you can see yourself. Hello, so I'm here. Okay, I can see you now. See, I can see your beautiful face. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Okay, now I off my video. Yeah. Okay, click on video. Hello. Yes, I can. Although you're very small. Yeah, I don't know why my my video is larger than yours, huh? Okay, Xing Chen just join us. Welcome, Xing Chen. Okay, um, when yeah, everyone has a, sorry, go ahead. I'm Jashin. Eh? Yeah, I know you're Jashin. Um, I just saw Xing Chen join us. So now we have twenty people. I'm waiting for the other ten. If they can get in, I will start the class, okay? So in the meantime, you all can try working. Charmaine, just join us. Welcome, Charmaine. Okay, if you need to ask me a question, if you don't want to speak, you can use the whiteboard. Can you? Can one of you try typing a message on the whiteboard and introduce yourself? <laughs> yes, I can see someone's drawing. Hello. Oh. Okay, who's whose face is that? Is that mine? <laughs> Why all silence one? Oh. <laughs> Hello. I see we've got lots of artists here. Well done. Okay, 21. We're still short of a few people. Um, Once, let's say by 2.20, if the, the other 10 don't show up, um, I will start the class, okay? Because I'm going to start off by briefing you all on assignment two. Can everyone hear me? Who's the one swearing down there? Okay, I'm going to clear the picture huh, because it's getting messy, so don't get uh, worried. Okay, there we go. We can start from scratch again. Yeah. Okay, we've got 22 now. I see a lot of dots. Okay, I'm going to load some content now, okay? I'm going to send you the assignment uh, worksheet so that I can go through it in a short while, huh?
Why cannot? Why? Why? Uh, cannot what? Okay, I'm gonna share the I'm gonna share the assignment with all of you now, huh? So um you're gonna see the screen change, don't worry about it, okay? So I'm sharing application now. Can everyone see the assignment? Can everyone see my desktop? Yeah. Okay, so can you see the medical sociology assignment? Yes. Okay. All right, so this assignment is something that you have to do over the um, CA, okay, clinical attachment. Anytime someone has any question, it's very small, is it? Okay, don't worry, yeah. I'll cut and paste the, I'll cut and paste the uh, main thing that you have to do um, into the whiteboard, huh? Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to stop the sharing. Okay, I'm going to limit the whiteboard so that I can, I'm the only one using it. All right? Is everyone here going for CA? Is anyone not going for CA? Thank <laughs> you. 
people got problem cannot okay. join in this group. But you are in already. That's why you. Uh, I can hear you. Did you download? Did you download two of the join? We download already, but cannot. Uh, the software cannot accept that. Uh. Oh, cannot accept. Is it? Okay. Um. Okay. Who's the Who's the person who cannot join? Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. As long as you can see this um, briefing, that will be good enough. You don't have to join. Okay, who's the one who say um, they are? She's not going to CA. There's someone right who say here, here that uh, not going to CA. Who's the one? Is everyone going for CA? Yes. Okay, if everyone's going for CA, I'm going to start briefing, okay? Okay, is everyone around? Okay. If you need to ask question, put up your hand huh? like by clicking the hand button and then I will um, take your question. Is that clear? Okay. What we're going to do for your second assignment is this. Huh? The reason why I'm briefing you now is so that it is um, so that you can be prepared when you go for your CA. The first thing you must do is first thing you must do is select a patient. Okay, um, that means read the case sheets of your patient and pick one case that you think is the most interesting. Everyone got that? Any question, click on raise hand, okay? <clears throat> so this patient can be from any uh, anyone suffering either a chronic illness or an acute illness. So it could be someone with, say, diabetes or someone who is recovering from an accident. Okay? Everyone clear with that? If everyone's clear, can I have... Um, People just click on the raise the raise hand or click all uh, right. Okay. Okay, Jashin and Jashin, can you, you can't hear me, is it? Because you're the only two without the, the hands raised. Okay, good. Jashin, can you uh, can you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Yes. So everyone's clear. Huh? So pick the most interesting case. So the next thing you must do, the next thing you must do is to... Provide a demographic profile of your client or, or your patient. What does that mean? It means who is the person, what is his job, what is his um, gender, what is his ethnicity, his family structure, his occupation, etc., etc. Basically, who the person is, huh? the social background, in other words. Everyone clear on this? Can I have a show of hands? 
Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, Amir, Evelyn, and Shamila. Okay, all right. Evelyn, can um can you hear? Okay, all right. So those the demographic profile basically describe the social environment in which your your um patient is in. Huh? Okay, the next thing you must do is to then identify the medical condition of your client okay here I do not need a biological explanation huh? basically I don't need you to tell me what is diabetes if you want just write one or two words that describe diabetes as uh, simply uh, insulin deficiency or tolerance to def uh, insulin what I want you to do is to talk about the relationship between the medical condition, which is diabetes, to your client's or your patient's um, social background. Okay, so that's the most important part, huh? which is covered uh, below. But in point number three, which is this point, I want you to just talk in general what is... Yeah? Um, yes, yes. Can't, can't log inside the session. Can't log in, is it? Are you with a friend? Can you just listen in with uh, your friend's computer? Yeah, she's sharing the computer with me. I'm okay. here. Hi. Hi, hello, hello. So um, those of you who are not in, uh, can um, just send me a very short email that you're in, okay? Because right now I'm marking attendance according to your name on the side, huh? under the participants. So those of you who are sharing computer, you just have to drop me a very short email later on to say that you're actually here, and I'll mark you present, okay? All right, so the when you identify the medical condition, diabetes, um, you just have to give a very brief description of what diabetes is huh? because this is a sociology class, not uh, an anat uh, anatomy or microbiology or nursing class. So we don't need the biological definition. So I don't want anyone writing maybe two, three pages of what, um, of what diabetes is, like what's happening at the pancreas, et cetera, et cetera. All right? Everyone clear on this? If you're clear, hands up. Okay, is uh, Peng Cheng? Okay, good. Right. So I'm going to now use myself as an example, okay? So I've got diabetes. So if I've got diabetes, I'm going to, so, so this is me, right? Sorry, I'm writing like a kid. I don't know how to control my mouse. Okay. What under my, uh, if you just describe very shortly what is a diabetes, then after that you need to do a description of how does my social factor affect my diabetes, right? So what will be some of the things you'll be looking at? If you have access to the whiteboard, please feel free to write our text, um, write the text around me, uh, the figure down there. I'm drawing a little box for you to fill in if you have access to the whiteboard, okay? Social factors. Do people have access to the whiteboard? Okay. 
Okay, the one. Okay, let's stop here for a short while. Let me go through the two answers that are there because those two answers need to be re-looked at, huh? okay? So, um, if you don't mind, just stop writing for a while. Okay, let's look at the family, yeah? Now, family, if you're writing about genetics, okay, I see a genetics already yeah, in the bottom corner. Genetics is a biological explanation, so we don't want to discuss that, okay? If you talk about family, when you talk about the social behavior of family, you need to look at um, the how does the family life affects the diet. Huh? Diet is against biological, what we eat. Huh? So that that's not going to help you. Rather, you want to find out if people eat a certain kind of food, what causes it. Okay? Everyone clear on that point? If you're clear, hands up. If you're not clear, activate the mic and ask me a question. Okay, so no question, huh? So good. Now, so let's say, for instance, the reasons why different families have different diet could be related, for instance, to ethnicity. So, for instance, as a Chinese Singaporean, I might eat a very different kind of food from an Indian Singaporean or a Malay Singaporean or a Chinese from China. Okay, so. This is what I meant by social factors. Huh? Is don't just look at okay, I eat fatty food, therefore I have um, I have diabetes. Because then, if you use just focus on the food, what essentially what we are doing, we are just looking at the biological factors. We need to look at social, which means society or something related to human beings' behavior. Huh? So, if I'm looking at ethnicity, then I'm looking at culture. So, as Chinese. Um, I eat a lot of rice, right? I'm a rice culture. So therefore, because of my culture, I can't live without rice, and therefore, the glycemic index of the food that I, re I eat is very high. And the reason why I eat rice all the time is because from young, I was given the rice. Okay, is that clear? All right. And also sometimes family, we can link to gender. Okay, we can link to gender because, for instance, sometimes in a uh, Asian family, all the food and good food is given to mostly the guys, right? The assumption that the male are the most valuable member because they work or they go out, uh, they do more exercise because they need more energy. So you find that sometimes at the dining table, the women are given less food or encouraged to have less food, whereas the males are encouraged to eat more. So you can also analyze my diabetes according to how my family treat me as a male. Okay, everyone clear on this point? If you're clear, um, hands up. Okay, very good. Okay. So now we have now linked diabetes to not just ethnicity, we've also linked diabetes now to um, gender, okay? If you, I've just given you the male perspective, right? If you want to look at a female and why females are less likely to have diabetes, sometimes in a place like Singapore or in the U.S., you should also look at how the society controls the female image, huh? When you're younger, um, you quite often are bullied as a female if you don't fit the size that society wants you to look. So if you look at all the media and stuff like that, you're starting to see pictures of very, very skinny women and stuff like that, right? So in other words, now you don't just analyze family or gender anymore. You can now analyze something called media. Huh? Media, which is... Um, okay... Things like advertisements, movie, pop stars, magazine, etc., etc. So that is social. All right. Okay. So because of the way media portray what is beauty, um, and as a result, the women then therefore have a certain diet. Okay. Because of how society treats a male, the male also have certain diet. Everyone clear on this point? No. 
all. Okay. The one who says no, can you uh, type out your question? I will try to re answer. <clears throat> Sorry, sir. I blur. You say okay. about which, which diet. Can... Okay, repeat about the diet. Is the it? Focus... Yeah. Okay. Is that we can talk? Yes, uh -huh. you can talk the about diet. diet. Mm. Yes, you can talk uh, about diet. diet. Okay, go ahead. You talk first. Okay. Okay. Well, someone's having a party. <laughs> okay. When we talk about diet, diet itself is a biological thing, right? We are what we eat. But you need to talk about diet from the point of sociology, which means what does, how does society influence our diet? Okay. You clear on this point? Okay, the one I'm talking to, Chashin, yeah. right? Okay. So, yeah. in order to see how society affects the diet, you need to see who I am. So, in, in my case, I am an, I'm a man. So, therefore, in, if you analyze the cognitive gender, you need to ask, why does, men have, um, why does men have poorer diet control than women, for instance? Understand? Oh, okay. So if you are a woman, if your your patient is a woman, then you need to understand why women have a poorer di control of diet. Okay, oh, is that clear? Okay. All right. Okay. Clear. So let's say so I'm saying that the women um put, oh someone just put a smile on my face, yeah. So let's let's give the artist some applause. Oh, but applause. Is the applause cam? I don't know. Okay, I think that's only in the icon. I'm clapping. Okay, yeah. All right. Anyway, go back to this. So, when you talk about the my medical condition, hey, how come my ear so big? I got one ear. Okay, two years. Now look at a monkey. Stop distracting me. Who's this? Yeah. Yes, very good. So, for instance, as the woman. You either finish up the leftover or when you cook, you taste the food, right? So if you taste the food or you eat leftover or, for instance, you're a housewife, you don't go out to work and then you snack all the time when you watch opera or movie, that will also contribute to the diabetes. Is everyone clear on this point? How to analyze? Okay, very good. So most people get it, huh? Now, okay, there's a whole bunch of others. I tell you what, okay, okay, someone don't understand, huh? Um, is it Mei Shuang? Mei Shuang, you want to ask a question? <clears throat> Okay, now I have a lollipop on top of my me, head. Not me, not me. Oh, it's you, is it? Okay, you've got a question? Do you have a question? I see a cross on your next to your name. That's why I, I'm asking where you've got a question. Hey, stop, stop messing around with my face. Okay. So anyway, let, let me continue huh, before we get too distracted with the drawing, okay? Now, after you have given the overall view of the illness and how it relates to, say, for instance, the uh, social factors, then the next thing you want to do is to pick one you think is the most important, okay? The, so, for instance, in the case, if I'm your patient, the most important factor could either be male or could be my job. Huh? Can anyone think of why, because of my job, I'm more likely to have poor diet control? Or is it diet you'll be looking at? Huh? Let's say if you're looking at me working as a lecturer, um, what is it about um, 
my job that makes me more likely to be fat. Can anyone just, um, very good, not enough time, stress, lots of marking, sit down all the time, that's excellent, so I've got no time to move around, um, et cetera, et cetera. So all of you have the right idea, huh? okay? So that's how you analyze. So when you look at your patient for this particular assignment, you need to identify what you think is the most important factor, okay? The... That is for the last part of this essay, and this is the one where you'll be writing the most on, huh? okay? Now, you've, all of you are doing NR now, right? Okay, if you're doing NR, you would have done something called lit review, okay? Okay, let me just clean the whiteboard a little bit first, huh? okay, before um, I continue. Okay, I tell you what, too much time, so I'm going to do a new page, okay? I'm going to copy this first, huh? give me a minute. Okay, so we've covered the this first two part. By the way, when you are looking at the case sheets, you when you do your assignments, you need to maintain confidentiality, huh? which means I don't want to see any names or IC number. Okay, all I want is whether the what is who's the patient uh and what the um just talk about the patient being male female ethnicity etc okay so the first part of your essay will be dis briefly describing your patient without giving away your patient's identity yeah huh? so for instance you might write uh, i'm doing this um case study or report on a male patient that i encountered in my ca um, he is a male, he's about 46 years old, he works at a polytechnic, don't mention the polytechnic, for instance, if you are doing me, right? So he works at a polytechnic, he's got severe obesity, and he has um, diabetes, huh? okay, et cetera, et cetera. So you might put quite a little bit of this, and you can talk about his, uh, that I've got a education, you look at my case sheet, right, so you might be have access to some of this information. So. I've got a master's degree. Um, I uh, my income, if I if I, is available, you can put it down there it's because all these are social factors. Okay, so that's the demographic profile. Point two, huh? Point three, you will then talk about. Okay, I'm warded in the hospital because of uh, diabetes or potential kidney failure, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So then you talk about what is the cause of the diabetes and stuff, but Give mostly, um, con just allocate a very short description of the biological. The Messiah says diabetes is the uh, an illness where the body is unable to metabolize the sugar, huh? get rid of the sugar. As a result, there's high sugar content. So that is good enough for me. Huh? And then you can talk about consequences, how diabetes can lead to heart diseases, and how diabetes can lead to kidney failure, et cetera, et cetera. So you're looking at maybe at, at the most three, four sentences, okay? Then after that, I want you to talk about how does my social background contribute to this? So you can talk about how, okay, as a male, my diet uh, might be very different from a female because I may tend to eat more meat or fatty food since society doesn't program me to, to be worried about my weight, etc., etc. You can also talk about how um, being a lecturer, I often do not exercise, and most of the time I'm sitting down, like right now I'm Kotaki at class, but I'm sitting down, that sort of thing, um, or I eat irregular hours when I do marking, et cetera, et cetera. Huh? So that's the demographic, uh, the, the social part of the medical condition. How does that contribute? Then the 
when you come to the main, main assay, which is the, this point, okay, this is the main part of your assay, yeah? okay, so you, you go that, okay, well, when I analyze this patient, I think that the main factor is gender, okay, so now you're now going into your actual essay now, huh? you're just saying that all the other social factors are important, but I'm only going to concentrate on one. The reason why we ask you to concentrate on one so that it's easier for you to write, huh? because if you write about 10 social factors, it's going to be very, very difficult. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate on gender. Now, in this particular essay, in this particular essay, uh, assignments, you are supposed to do um, research, huh? which is five medical journals. Okay, so in other words, um, in other words, when you do uh, uh, um, um, this research, you have to support your arguments with what you read. All right. So this is very similar to what you've been doing for your nursing research, which is a lit review, right? You all know what's a literature review? Hands up if you know. Okay, very good. So most of you, uh, all of you know. Huh? Now, this is slightly different from, this is slightly different from uh, literature review only in the sense that you are actually also including your own analysis. Huh? That means you are just, you will do your own analysis of what this patient is like and then as a result, um, do additional research to support your argument. Okay? Now, which, what kind of material should you use for your argument? You should be using this thing called a, um, whoops, sorry, hang on. Okay. Use the SINA um, um, database in the library website. So, for instance, the the five medical journals, you will depend on your keyword. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to use a new page again. Okay, well, I'm going to clear this page. Huh? So don't wor don't worry if you see things missing. Okay. So, for instance, in order to Search terms are important. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so in my case, assuming I'm the patient that you want to analyze, you want to look at male and diabetes. Okay. If you want to uh, look at my job, then you go um, teachers and diabetes, okay? If you are looking at me from an ethnicity point of view, you will go Chinese and diabetes, okay? So when you key in, usually you will get a whole bunch of information. Right? There will be like many, many different pages. All I need from you is to pick five, okay? Five journal articles, read it, and then use part of the information there to support your argument. Now, um, let me just um, share my website with you. Huh? I, I don't know whether it will be very small or not, but let me just try uh, again. Um, you're going to see my web page, okay? So I'm clicking application sharing now. <clears throat> okay, 
can everyone see the web page? If you can, click on uh, um, hands up. Okay, all right, good. Most of you can see, yeah. Now this is the Neon homepage. Once you get to the Neon homepage, there's this thing called Quick Link. Click on Library, and this will take us to the Library page. Okay. Um, the Library page here, there's a button here called Database. Okay, click on Database. It will take you to the Database section. Okay. Click on C, that's for, so that it's easier for you to search, and we look for Sina. Huh? Okay, Sina complete. We click on this, we go to the search page. You need to log in, so therefore I'm going to log in now. Okay, let me just try again. Okay, I need to do my VPN, huh? so, okay, I'm in. Okay, can everyone see the screen? Okay, good. So most can see, huh? So, what do you want to look for? Let's say, for instance, if you're studying me, right? You can go to diabetes, then the next field, Okay, diabetes uh, and male and social factors. Okay, typo here. Let me change this. Social factors. So once I've got the key thing, I can go to search. Uh, so assuming I'm only doing male, uh, I'm not doing the other thing. So then down here, we start to see, okay, this article seems quite interesting, right? Talk about social support and life satisfaction. So maybe it's telling me that if I, as a male, am happy, then I'll be more likely to be, say, for instance, uh, healthy. If not, I will be unhealthy, right? Etc. Etc. So then, okay, I, I, it looks interesting, so I'm going to click on here to read a bit more. So once I click on this, I go to here, and I see all this information, so I go read. Huh? Okay, well, it, this is in Turkey, not in Singapore, so I can still use this, even though it's not in Singapore, because this is to provide background, right? So I says, okay, it's increasing, okay, being a teenager is a risky time. Um, then looks at social support, okay, and it has been determined that males suffering from type 1 diabetes uh, during Teen, late teenagers is a risk group, so then therefore it's relevant. So I'm going to read this, right? Now, a lot of us, how many of you are stressed with APA citation? Hands up. Almost everyone is stressed with APA citation, right? So now I'm going to teach you a shortcut, okay? So um, here is the shortcut if you want. If you don't know how to do APA citation, when you use Sinahel, it helps you to do the citation, huh? Okay? So look at my cursor now. Now I'm in this side. I want to do the citation. And all I have to do is just go to this thing called Cite, and I click on Cite. And suddenly, they have already do the citation for me. Can everyone see this? Hands up if you can. Okay, you can use this for your, you can use this for your NR1 as well. Huh? So in, in case you don't know how to do references, here is what you do. Click on the cite button, which is this button. And then they'll generate for you. Huh? This is APA, uh, American References. So this, when you see references, this is the 
citation that goes at the end of your essay. Everyone clear with this? End of your essay, yeah? Okay? Good. Now, in text, it's very simple, huh? In text means at anywhere you mention this study in your essay, at the end of it, you must make reference to it. Huh? So that's called an in-text citation. You just have to put this person's last name and this person's last name. So you, for instance, you'll say Boss Tepe and Buber, comma, 2013, open and close bracket. Everyone clear? Very simple, right? In-text citation. Everyone got this? Those who don't have? Yeah. Okay. Anyone don't understand? If you don't understand, you can click your mic to talk to me and ask me a question, okay? Okay. So... All right, so I'm going to stop my screen sharing now because I've already gone through this, huh? okay? If you have any questions, feel free to email me if I'm going too fast. So I am going to stop um, screen sharing now. I'm going to go back to the whiteboard. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to um I'm gonna go to, back to page the the page one, huh? Hang on. Uh, main page. Okay, I'm gonna copy hang on, sorry. I'm gonna copy this again. Whoopsie. And then go to new page. Okay. So, remember, you can pick any medical condition. Say, for instance, you, you are assigned to surgical ward. Almost everyone down there have got an accident rather than diabetes or something like this, or it's cancer. Any medical illness can be linked to social factors, okay? There, there's a reason why most accidents, victims are mostly guys, is because being male caused them to be more of a risk taker, right? So then you can link it to gender. Or poorer people ride motorcycles, so therefore economic status become a social factor because motorcyclists are more likely to get more injured, etc., etc. Okay? So now remember, because I do not, I won't be able to see you until you come back from school, and this will be due in the first week of school. So anytime you need, um, don't be shy. Write me an email or send me an SMS for me to reply to your question, okay? I don't want you to be stressed. I want you to learn rather than stress. Everyone got this? Okay, anytime you need to check whether or not the medical condition uh, is valid, just write to me, huh? okay? I will be going away in the first, uh, second week of December let me give you my personal email address. Uh, take this down, okay? Can people see? Is that too small? It's Chongqing Liang at, at yahoo.com, okay? No SG, huh? remember, no SG. You type in the SG, the mail won't get to me. All right? So when if I don't reply to your email within one day, means I have not read it, just drop me an SMS and I'll reply to your email. Okay, everyone clear on this point? Okay. Okay, good. <coughs> okay, so remember, you don't have to use diabetes. Huh? Even, even though I use diabetes as an example, you can use any different illness. Okay. Hi, welcome, Anastasia. I just saw you. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to do something a little bit more fun now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
yes, suicide is possible um, because that's a medical condition. But the suicide, of course, you got to be very careful because some of you may want to talk to your patient. But if the patient is just recovering from suicide, then interviewing the patient may not be a good idea. Okay? So let's say if you're looking at suicide from um, a teenage girl. So you find that suicide, right, the, the highest number may be teenage girls for attempted suicide. Huh? When guys commit suicide, they tend to be uh, more successful because they, their ways of doing it is more violent. Okay? Um, so therefore, suicide is often linked to social bullying or stress. Okay, so either body image, self-esteem, etc., etc. So you can link, say, for instance, your your hypothesis. First, look at your patient. What is your a patient's social demographic profile? If the patient is young, or female, or male, etc., then you've got to first guess at what is the link, right? So maybe uh, male. Um, older male out of job, so that might be the trigger for suicide because of the pressure that comes with being male. If it's a younger person who's a female, suicide, and that might be due to social bullying or um, BGR issues. So then you um, explain from that point of view. Okay, you got it? So in your research, in the five journals, you will go, for instance, Very good. That you have to first come up with an assumption, which is like in NR, you learn of this as the hypothesis. Then, based on this hypothesis, you will have some um, variables, right? That means something is linked to something. So, in this case, your assumption is teenage, uh, teenage women and suicide. Huh? So, you will then go to the medical journal, just now that I showed you. You go in Google, teenage girls, suicide, social factors and then see what kind of article come up, okay? So sometimes you may not have an idea what's going on, so you may have to read one or two articles first, and then after that, um, come up with your essay. Clear? Okay, good. <clears throat> Anyone who's at any point not clear who need to ask questions, you can type on the whiteboard or you can ask me. Okay, um, it's, um, is this enough on assignment? Because I want to finish up on race and ethnicity, okay? Can I go, uh, can I move on and do that? Okay, there's one more question, so let's look at question. Okay, no need to finish writing. I can't figure out what you're going to write, huh? Um, the this is the bulk, the portion where you have to do your. Okay, you can. You can basically, from these four points, you can write without research yet. Then after that, you go do the research you can then fit it in. Huh? So for instance, your one so is going to be related to social factor. So this is where you need your journal articles. Okay? So in other words, what I'm saying is you can already start writing the first three points and the first portion of the point number four here. Okay? And once you have done that, uh, the, the introduction, then you go and look for the articles to support your assumptions, correct? That is, that's, uh, that's what we are trying to do. In other words, we're not just guessing. We are actually saying that people have done research about this, that there is a link between these social factors and the uh, medical condition. Is that clear? <clears throat> Any other question? That's that's a very good question, huh? Well done. I'm gonna give a clap again. Okay, where's my clap? Mr. Here's my applause. Mr. Applause. Chong. Yes, hi. Uh, that's what the journal is. Uh, we don't really have to get it from the library database. We can just get it from Google, right? 
Yes, you can get it from Google, but I we want to train you to get from the database so that it won't be so stressful for you when you do NR1 and 2 and your FYP. So that's why we're asking you to get from the database. Plus, I, were you around just now when we were doing the database and they, um, I show you how to do citation? Did you see that? Yes. Okay, so that is the other reasons why we want you to go to the database because it do the citation for you. Okay. So for okay, this. Okay. Thank you. So what I what? So that's another good question, right? If I can I read um, Wikipedia and all that? Yes, you can. It's just that it won't be accepted as one of the five articles. So for some of you, a very good starting point. A very good starting point may be Wikipedia. So you use Wikipedia to read first, you understand a bit more, then you go and look for your five articles in the database. Everyone clear on that? <clears throat> okay. Okay, good. So most of the people are clear on this, huh? Okay. Um <clears throat> Any other question before I move on to the, um, today's um, two topics? Any other question? You got a fresh whiteboard now to to do? No. Okay. Can I move on? Can I have a show of hand? Can I move on? <clears throat> Mr. Chong Ting Ram, do we have what you need? Um, yes, there is. Um, I already send the, I already send the documents to y'all. Can y'all uh, retrieve the word document just now? Can you can you retrieve it? Okay, doesn't matter. Let me. Uh, okay, good. In the in the word document it shows you very good okay remember what i said in class now huh? i do not count the number of words i count your ideas so if you write a very good essay less than 850 you will still get your b and a huh? you write me 20,000 words and then i kill myself because i'm so bored reading it you're in trouble okay got it all right now in the second document that i sent you right it's a rubric. Huh? Let me just go and uh, go to the rubric before I move on. I forgot to talk to you about the rubric. Huh? I'm going to share the application for the rubric now, okay? Hang on. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to share the application now. So, um, can everyone see the marking guidelines? <clears throat> okay, good. Okay, all right. So, um, okay, so. Here is how you get your marks. Now, each of these category where my cursor is right now, these are worth 10 marks. Okay, so if you did a good job, you will be in the um, A band is from well developed to superior. It onwards is an A. Below eight is uh, and below eight and above seven, that's a B. Um, five to six is a D and a C, and then uh, the F is the subsequent categories huh? but um, if you do your job no one will be in this area so don't stress about this huh? so the first uh, thing is how well did you describe the profile of the client um, the patient huh? so just now I mentioned right like for instance if you're looking at me you're looking at my age my gender my education my occupation even my family structure right whether I'm married do I have kids do I have not kids all those is in point one or in that section then the correlation between social factor and medical conditions, you are talking most, in this portion, you're talking about the one single 
social factor, right? Uh, this one is the, the number one is the general uh, link, and um, the second one is the your analysis already. So let's say for me, you may identify as male um, and um, obesity. So here you're starting to look at uh, this in detail. So you talk about why being male makes me more likely to have diabetes, etc. Okay. So down here, this includes your analysis from the journals, okay? Now, point number three um, is how well you use your journal articles to support the, your argument, uh, to establish the link, okay? So you can use things like statistics from lecture or from the journals to support your argument. So for instance, you're saying, well, in, when I did my research, I found that it is true that males are more likely, for instance, um, um, Chong and O um, found that in their study um, that 70% of males are more li most likely to be obese in Singapore, for instance, that's an example, right? So in other words, you just use the journal to support an argument, so as a result, you will be in the A category. Huh? But for some of you, you may write a lot about the social factors and medical condition, but didn't do your research or never integrate your research. So although in point number two, you will get an A, but for point number three, you might be a five or a six. Everyone clear on this point? Okay, good. All right. <clears throat> then the con and a lot of people, they forget about conclusions, huh? Now, conclusion, conclusion is basically now that you understand that there's a so certain social factor that creates diabetes, how do you then understand enough about these social factors to suggest a solution to manage, huh, to manage this illness or to prevent this illness in this particular category of patient? Okay, the conclusion doesn't have to be very, very, um, heavy, but it must be well thought out. Huh? Okay, all right. So, so if you're looking at the um, conclusion, it probably shouldn't be more than two, three hundred words. Okay, the about the middle portion, which is the two and three, should be about five, six hundred words. If you're shorter than that, but makes a lot of sense, that's fine. Huh? This is just a guide. The discussion on the profile of the client probably will be less than two, three hundred words as well. Everyone clear on that point? Okay, all right. Now, the bottom category is on how well you communicate, huh? okay? <clears throat> okay, now point number five here, um, I'm not, I do not necessarily, uh, mark on grammar and spelling huh? because I understand uh, many of us may not be native speakers so I'm not too concerned about grammar and spelling but I do need to be able to understand what you write okay so in t I'm not marking for grammar I'm marking in terms of whether can I understand you so my suggestion for some of us is that after we write we must read through it one time. If we can understand ourselves, chances are the person marking can understand you. Huh? So grammar-wise, don't worry. Spelling-wise, I think for spelling and grammar, if you want, you can run a spell check. Huh? Let's say, for instance, right now, I'm going to do a spell check, right? So I go to tools under word, spelling and grammar. So spelling and grammar, for instance, they'll tell me, okay, well, the suggested change is this, the all should be capitalized or all should change. Huh? So if we agree with the grammatical change, we just change it. Okay, so use the tools within Microsoft Word to help you if you're not too sure about um, your language um, ability, okay? So point number six is a, it's a free give, give me, huh? okay? That means we're giving you bonus marks just for doing five articles. If you do five, you get five marks. So this is the part where some, sometimes I don't understand. Some of the students, they're told to do five, they do three. As a result, you only get three marks. 
that means when you do five, you get five marks for free. Everyone clear on this point? So remember, always do your five articles. Everyone clear on this? <clears throat> okay. Most of you got it, huh? So that's all right. We don't have to have the hands up anymore. Now, under penalty, I know there is this thing here that says 100 words over 1,100. I don't deduct marks for that, huh? but you need to make sure that if you write over, you are not repeating yourself, um, that if you go past 1,100, you are still making sense, okay? So remember, huh? my, my only criteria is I need you to um, be clear and concise. Don't repeat yourself. Sometimes we write 2,000 or 3,000 words, and the additional 2,000, 3,000 words doesn't make sense at all, and that's why we our marks get deducted. Okay. Now the this is the deadline, um, 15 January 5 p.m. You have to submit to save assignment like this assignment. Huh? It will be open during that week. Um, if you don't submit, um, you uh, marks will be deducted huh, for each day of late submission. Okay, so same, hard copy to me and uh, soft copy to save assignment, okay? How do you label your assignment sheet? Here's how you label it, right? So in your case, you'll be October 13, MaxSoc, assignment 2, T03, yada yada in your name, okay? Friday, 10th of January 14, which is the end of the first week. Um, this has been the last day for late submission is five days later. Huh? That means you've got three days to submit before you um, get zero. Everyone clear on this point? <clears throat> okay. So which also means because your class is on a Friday, um, if you are very stressed, you don't know how to get started, you want to come and see me, you can see me the week before school start or on, when school start on the 6th itself, just give me a call and I'll be very happy to sit down with you to help you with your assignment. Okay, everyone clear on this? Okay, where's the camera here? Clear on this? Okay, good. Now, I'm going to leave the um, sharing now uh, for the word, okay? Okay, now I'm going to play a movie, okay? the We're going to look at, last week we ended with um, race and ethnicity, right? Now, we saw that in the blue eye, brown eye um, experiment or activity that Racism is not according to color. It, you know, it's not due to biology. And we had a discussion a little bit about why is it in certain cult, uh, countries, in certain society, certain cultures seem to be doing worse than others. And we talk about the whole concept of how if we are receiving racism, it affects our self-esteem. And as a result, and as a result, we ended up um, giving up on the whole society itself. Huh? So this short movie, the resolution is not too good, unfortunately, but hopefully you still can see it. Huh? This short movie looks at um, the racism within the Malaysian society towards uh, Indian Malaysian. Okay? Um, the movie is called Kickstart. Huh? I'm going to play it now. Is everyone ready? Um, if you're ready, just give the thumbs up sign. Hi, my name is Aru. 
my age is 25. My status? <laughs> I'm still single. My race? <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. Because just like you, I'm a Malaysian. Like you, okay, okay, I right. too okay. have dreams. My dream was to be a doctor. All right, let me try. Uh, let me try the high res version. Okay, wait, I got it. I got it. You can't read the subtitle, right? Okay, let me let me try. And, okay, let me try and play the high resolution one, huh? And I'll share screen. See whether or not you can see. Okay, where? Yeah, let me just uh, start the movie first. Hang on. Okay, I have the high res version here. Give me a minute. Huh? I'm looking for the movie, okay? Let me just share screen first. <clears throat> I tell you what, let me just look for the URL where the thing have uh is, is shown, huh? Hang on. Off yeah, off wait, wait. Thank you. I'm getting confused. Okay, wait, hang on. Sorry. I need to Oh, wow, wow. Okay, wait, hang on, huh? Okay, multimedia library. I'm gonna Okay, let's see. <clears throat> oh, we're not allowed to. Okay, I tell you what. Uh let me try the let me try the um playing directly from the the what do you call the website huh? and then hopefully you can see and hear what's going on let me just go to sharing again hey people going crazy man hey leave my white bar alone okay wait now huh? can you all see can you all see the movie No! 
Cannot see? Can or not? No. Okay, wait, wait. No. Okay, all right. Stop it! Leave my page alone! I'm trying to type something. <laughs> hey, stop it! Stop torturing me! Wait! Are we stopped yet? Are we Mr. done? Mr. Chong, I think I think we're not going on you know what? well. Yeah, I know. Okay, never mind. At least I, I managed to breathe you on the thing, huh? Wait, here's the URL. If people would just stop. Hello? Are we done? Hey! Copy this URL YouTube page, okay? Um, and then you go and watch the movie, okay? Listen, the movie is not working out. Um, okay, I'm going to show you another movie that is in English, all right? In okay, um, the resolution is not good, but at least this one, uh, this movie, um, you will, should be able to understand because it's in English. Okay, I'm going to create a page. I'm going to do... I should deny you all the whiteboard. Let's see if I can cancel the whiteboard. Where's the whiteboard? Okay, now no one can write. Can anyone write? No one can write, right? Ha! I'm God! Alright, okay, listen. The question um, that I want you to think about before this movie is this, huh? What happens when there is no socialization at all? Okay, I'm going to open. I'm going to give you permission to write, huh? But you've got to be, be nice, okay? You don't go and bully old man here, okay? Yeah. Okay. So what happens when there's no socialization at all? Because, you know, this week we're talking about culture and we're talking about things like um, uh, what do you call um, culture and we talk about um, things like uh, traditional medicine, right? Okay. Who is cute? Who is so shameless? I'm going. I'm going to limit the whiteboard. The people are not uh, being serious, huh? Annabelle. Ah, okay. So, uh, Nicole wrote that. Okay, all right. Okay, Nicole. Yeah, all right. We're very happy you're cute. We will not have friends. Okay. We will not have met salt module. That sounds good, isn't it? Ah. Uh, Okay. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna limit the white body. People are saying write nonsense. So I'm, no more. No, now you can't write, huh? Okay. So I'm gonna show you this movie. It is uh, about this little girl who was denied socialization at all. Huh? Basically, she's a, a a victim of a terrible child abuse. Um, she was tied to a chair. She was tied to a chair. Um. She was tied to a chair um, when she was very young, all the way till she was 13 years old. Um, no socialization occurred. Um, the father and mother don't talk to her, don't, never taught her how to speak, never taught her how to um, walk. Huh? So watch this documentary first, and then we talked a little bit about how, uh, we talked a little bit about how invisible socialization is huh, and its importance, okay? The movie is called Genie the Wild Child. I'm going to play it now. Um, you should be able to see it. The quality is not too good because we're streaming, so I cannot have very high quality. Yeah? My apologies. 
Okay, I'm going to start now. Is everyone okay? Everyone okay? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Okay, this is Jeannie the Wild Child, huh? Tonight on Nova, the shocking story of a girl who spent her childhood locked in a bedroom. The girl reportedly was still wearing diapers when a social worker discovered the case two weeks ago. Raised in isolation, Jeannie was a wild child, uncivilized, barely able to walk or talk. The indications are that she was beaten for making noise. With footage never before seen on television, Nova follows the controversial efforts to unlock the secret of the wild child. Once in a great while, civilized society comes across a wild child. A child who has grown up in severe isolation with virtually no human contact. This is the story of such a case. The story begins in Los Angeles on November 4th, 1970. Officials in the Los Angeles suburb of Arcadia have taken custody of a 13-year-old girl and they say was kept in such isolation by her parents that she never even learned to talk. Her elderly parents have been charged with child abuse. This is the scene of the crime. A child was locked in a room and tied to a potty chair for most of her life. Completely restrained, she was forced to sit alone day after day and often through the night. She had little to look at and no one to talk to for more than 10 years. The girl reportedly was uttering infantile noises and still wearing diapers when a social worker discovered the case two weeks ago. But the authorities are hoping she still may have a normal learning capacity. Here was a 13-year-old who seemed like an infant, a girl who would be known as Jeannie. <laughs> was taken to Children's Hospital in Los Angeles where she immediately won the hearts of doctors and scientists. She was fragile and beautiful, almost haunting, and so I was pulled. I was very drawn to her even though I was nervous and had no idea in, in many respects what to expect. Jeannie was about to test an idea important to science and society, that a nurturing environment could make up for even the most nightmarish of pasts. If you make up a sentence in your head or you write it down and it has say 10, 12 words in it, chances are you can listen for the rest of your life for someone else to say the sentence. You can go to the library. Here at UCLA, Susan Curtis teaches students about a crucial human trait, the ability to learn language. At the library, and chances are you will never come across that sentence. What I want to do now The students begin their study through a famous case. The case name is Jeannie. This is not the person's real name, but when we think about what a genie is, a genie is a creature that comes out of a bottle or whatever, but emerges into human society past childhood, and we assume that it really isn't a creature that had a human childhood. Susan and Curtis has a special connection to the story she's telling. Story of a girl who 20 years ago, she was asked to join a team working to rehabilitate Jeannie. I was literally at the right place at the right time. I was a new graduate student interested in language acquisition, unencumbered by family ties or responsibilities, and they asked me if I would be interested. When Curtis first joined the case, Jeannie had a strange bunny walk and other almost inhuman characteristics. Jeannie constantly spat. She sniffed and clawed. She barely spoke or made any noises. Word of the wild child spread, attracting scientists from all around the country. One of them was Oklahoma psychiatrist Jay Shirley. When introduced, I extended my hand. She reached out with her fingers and 
delicately touched my hand and then in a sense <laughs> that was it she had she had made my acquaintance she was satisfied <laughs> though for herself about me but my reaction was i had a thousand questions immediately who what how how does this come about why is this why do i see what i'm seeing shirley was an expert in social isolation Jeannie was the most extreme case he'd ever seen. Solitary confinement is diabolically the most severe punishment and in my experience, really quite dramatic symptoms develop in as little as 15 minutes to an hour and certainly inside of two or three days and try to expand this to 10 years boggles one's mind. Shirley wanted to assess how well Jeannie had survived her long years of isolation. He directed the team to gather information on her brain waves. For four nights running, they wired Jeannie to instruments that measured the electrical activity in her brain while she slept. What they found was an unusually high number of so-called sleep spindles the dense bunching patterns that look like spindles on a spinning machine. This was an abnormal brainwave pattern. The sleep studies raised a question that would puzzle the Genie team for years. Was Genie brain damaged from her years of abuse or had she been retarded from birth? When Genie was a baby, her father apparently decided she was retarded. He insisted on keeping her isolated because of that. Authorities pieced together these few facts in the early weeks. Jeannie's strange family circumstances made it hard to learn more. Jeannie's mother, weak and nearly blind, claimed that she too had been a victim of her domineering husband. Jeannie's father, shortly after authorities discovered Jeannie, shot and killed himself. The suicide only added to the interest in Jeannie's case. She was a prized patient. And in the months to come, the number of visiting scientists increased. Jeannie's new celebrity status marked the beginning of a debate that would intensify over time. How should her case be handled? James Kent's plan was the first to be adopted. He believed Jeannie could get better if she were allowed to form relationships. And he was encouraged when she started to do so. Up until one particular day, Jeannie didn't seem to respond uh, in any, any special way to my coming or going at the, at the end of our session. Then one day when I left, her expression changed from um, sort of happy to sad to indicate that there was some, some sadness in the separation for her. And it was the first indication that I had that we were beginning to form this relationship. I thought as long as she had the capacity to form attachments, she had the capacity to learn, she had the capacity to get better. By the end of May, something had happened to add to the hopes for Jeannie's future. It was a breakthrough that everyone had waited for. It was captured on videotape by Jean Butler, Jeannie's special education teacher. Here in a classroom at Children's Hospital, Butler is teaching Jeannie to tie her own shoes. Butler is about to tell Jeannie, you do it, and we can tell Dr. Kent what you can do. Listen to Jeannie's reaction. Jeannie said the word doctor. Right there it says that, doesn't it? Ash, Dr. Kent. Huh? It was one of more than a hundred words she knew by that spring. Listen to another. She was difficult to understand, but Jeannie was repeating words. Jeannie was beginning to talk. They also took responsibility for Jeannie's therapy, attempts to help her grapple with the horror of her childhood. Okay, baby, open your mouth. In this primitive role-playing exercise, Marilyn pretends to be Jeannie's mother. Marilyn tries to elicit memories of Jeannie's past. I wonder what you're thinking. 
You want to see your father? Father is not living. You remember what it was like when you lived at home? What were you sitting on when you ate the cereal? In the pot. In the potty chair. Where did you stay when you lived at home? Where did you live? Where did you sleep? You slept in the potty chair? While this videotape shows how distressed Jeannie was by her childhood, it also reveals a developmental breakthrough. Jeannie was using language to describe past events. Jeannie was talking about things that happened before words were a part of her world. Okay, that's it. That's a short clip. Um, I want to talk a little bit about um, what you've just seen. Huh? Okay, um, I'm going to free up the whiteboard. I want you all to tell, tell me what are some of the things that we took for granted um, in growing up. Huh? <clears throat> Let's look at some of your responses. Okay, I'm going to limit the whiteboard now just for a very short while, okay? All right, so for those of you who are writing stuff, uh, my apologies. Um, I am going to uh, click this off, okay? Um. <clears throat> okay. What I want um, wanted you all to look at was also the the certain things that we take for granted as uh, physical development. Huh? How many of how many of you out there assume that things like walking um, is biological? That means if you get older, you will guarantee you can walk. Okay, can I have a show of hands? How many of you think that it is um, biological? Okay, quite a number, huh? at least um, so far right now it's um, nine people who said so. So there's about a third or half of whoever is here. Huh? But um, from Jean, Jeannie's case, from Jeannie's case, you can see that the walking is actually a social development, not a biological development. If you look at the way she walked, um, she had great difficulty walking on her legs. Huh? She walked almost like an animal. And one of the main reasons is walking is a very social behavior. Right? It comes from socialization. Remember, the minute you can walk, your family will buy you a little toy that you can push and walk at the same time. <clears throat> so basically what is happening here is that it is not just physical uh, development. You have to train those muscles. So all the little plays that we do when we were a kid, remember your mommy was stand at one corner of the room and say, come honey, walk towards me. That is social. Huh? So without that training, the tendency is for human beings to walk on four because that is the most stable um, position. So until we're trained to walk on two legs, <clears throat> and we learn to walk on two legs because we look at our parents, walking and encouraged by our parents, that's how we end up walking on two legs. So walking is a very social behavior, okay? Now, the other thing that I want you all to look at, which you didn't uh, kind of look at, things like friends interaction, of course those are social, right? and in this particular case, the, it is important to see how, what a big role this, this social and uh, friends and interactions and parents are. But the speech itself is something you want to look at. If you look at Jeannie, even when she learned to speak, her voice is very different. <clears throat> now remember, ladies and gentlemen, 
that the vocal cords is basically a set of muscles and we have to be trained to speak in a certain way. If not, we will end up making really weird sounds that most people cannot understand unless you listen very carefully. Yeah? You see, when you're young, there are always little posters, A, B, C, D, and your parents will train you to say A for apple, B for boy, etc., etc., right? All those are very social behavior. When babies at that age, they don't understand the words. They, the, they are repeating the sound in order to be able to pronounce the word. So that is training the vocal cord, which is a muscle. Okay? Sorry. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, let me just take this call. Hello? Yeah, hi. Yeah, yes. Uh, can I call you back because I'm actually conducting a class right now? Hey, you're supposed to be in, right? How come you're, you're on the line? Okay, then that's fine. Uh, um, I, will, I will mark you as present. Huh? But I brief your class on the assignment you need to find out from your friends, okay? All right, okay, yeah, bye. Okay, <clears throat> um, sorry for the interruption, there was a task. Um, someone needs to help me brief her uh, about the assignment, okay? So um, what I just said just now, did, did it make sense? Can I have a show of hands before the interruption, what I'm saying? Okay, so for a, a number of people, uh, it makes sense. Uh, for the rest, I hope that you understood as well. Um, <clears throat> essentially, socialization is very key to what us develop into human beings. Huh? So occasionally you see horrible cases like Jeannie the wild child, and it does illustrate if we are not trained to be human through socialization, we don't behave almost like a human. Huh? In, when Jeannie first entered the public eye, she was walking like an animal and she was scratching and spitting as though an animal will. Huh? So being human is all about socialization. <clears throat> let me just link this to culture before I let you all go, okay? Because it's almost the end of class time, so I don't keep you all too long. But what happens is this. Socialization requires rules and guides. And that's what culture is. Huh? Culture is like a rule book, right? When you are talking to a baby, what should you do? So culture teaches us that, okay? Uh, if the babies don't start walking by two years old, three years old, then figure out what's wrong with the kid. If you want the child to, to um, walk or speak, what are the things you do? Buy books, buy certain toys. All those toys didn't happen by accident. All those are found within our culture. And different cultures, if you look back, <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of flu. If you look back towards your own um, um, ethnicity, different cultures have got different ways of encouraging kids to walk, talk, or do any of those things. Okay? Now, last thing. When we apply this knowledge of culture and a strong relationship to socializations, to our understanding our patient, basically what's happening is this. Huh? If your patient culture is built on a whole practice of traditional medicine and not Western medicine, in a way your patient would be like Jeannie, yeah? entering the world for the first time and not knowing what to do. So your patient, say an older person who's never used Western medicine, and they enter the hospitals and enter your ward, essentially it's a very strange world. I, if I'm the patient, I'll regard Western medicine with a lot of lack of trust. I'll see with a lot of fear because there's nothing that I'm prepared for. Okay, so this using this how sociology look at culture can help us understand how our patient behave. Okay, I'm going to free up the whiteboard. Um, maybe I can take some last questions before I let you all go. Okay, if you all want this to continue. Um, I can extend it a bit longer. I'm just worried you all will get bored, okay? I'm going to open the whiteboard now if you've got any question to ask. <clears throat> you can also use the microphone. Yeah. Yes, speak. Uh, 
so basically just do the assignment to do on the 15 we have to um based on our ca patient and yes. then um and then after that the five journal thing is for regarding uh the kind of social is it, is it? yeah um <clears throat> the five journals must be related to the one social factor you've chosen to write okay human beings uh naturally walk like animals maybe maybe not huh? if you look at the way our muscles are developed we are now developed for bipedal walking which means standing up straight and walk okay um, the argue, point and argument, one social factor. If you look at your assignment sheet, we're looking at only one social factor, the one you think is the most important. But in your introduction at the beginning, um, you are supposed to talk about as many um, social factors as possible, but very briefly, okay? The one that you do in details is the one that you've selected. Is that clear? Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, I don't need you to print out the article. Don't kill trees. What I do need is for you to do the citation according to how I teach you. So if I see five citations and I see you quoting, that will consider uh, as five articles done. Clear? Mr. Chong? After we do this, right, do we have to do the um, MS lecture for BCR also? Uh, no, I don't think this week there's MS lecture for BCR, right? The You're talking about the tutorial activity, is it? The, uh, Mr. Keith said there's videos to watch and then we're supposed to do a discussion board or something. Yeah, I see those videos are interesting. It's about self-diagnosis. I would recommend you all watch it. And the discussion board, you can go in and just put a full stop or something. You know, that's, that's a very simple thing. Just just record it. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm marking you present um, uh, based on the based on this, uh, what do you call, um, um, e-learning session. Okay? Okay, thank you. Did you all, did you all have, um, was this session interesting? Did, did you all like the movie on uh, The Wild Child? Yes. Movie okay. on The Wild Child is cool. Yeah, you know, all, all of you are in school, is it? No, we're at home. Oh, yeah, at home is good. Yeah, this is meant to be at home. I was worried whether... Okay, um, what I'll do is, um, do you want the URL to the actual movie so you can watch all of it? Yes, please. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go to a new page. Huh? Okay, I'm going to limit the thing already because we're writing nonsense again. Okay. Mr. Chong, remember to mark me um, present. This is Anna. Thank you. This is who? Who's that? Anna. Anastasia. Anastasia? Okay, yeah, I will. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you see an alpha author? Who's this? Oh, okay, can you, I tell you what, just send me a short email, okay, and then I will mark you present, can? Because, uh, you know, if not after, I forget, yep. Okay. Okay, um, wait now, uh, and then the, let me give you the Genie, the Wild Child uh, documentary.
Okay, the I would highly recommend watching the Kickstart the movie because it will help explain why sometimes minority underachieve. Huh? Now, although the movie is about Indian Malaysian, it could well be about Chinese Malaysian in Malaysia. Then, if you want to see it from Singapore's point of view, you can use this as a way to understand why minority Singaporeans sometimes do not achieve as much as um, uh, do not achieve as uh, 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 as well as um, as uh, majority population. Okay. The Ginny the Wild Child one, I think the main points have already been seen, but if you want to see the whole development, you can watch it. Um, it's quite a long one though, that one is about 54 minutes. Okay? Is everyone okay? Okay. Um, okay. All right. So, um, yes. Yes, someone's going to ask me yeah. a question? Like, yeah. Yeah, because I still have yeah. a few questions about the assignment. Do you prefer us to email okay. you on your personal email or the school me? Um, why don't we? I don't have to go off yet. Why don't you ask the question in case this is also the same question everyone's asking, so I can answer them so everyone can have a look. Is that okay, Charmaine? Yeah. Uh, cause yeah, okay. I yeah. just wanted to repeat some points about the conclusion okay. and if okay. we need to print the article. You don't need to print the article. That's what I said just now, right? What I need you to do is to do the five citation properly and in text. So if I see five citation, uh, I would consider that as as being cited. But I, of course, I must see the evidence inside the essay itself. Is, is that clear? So we just at the yeah, so at the bottom part of our assignment, we just put references. Yeah, the references and then in text citation where you quote. You know what's in text okay. citation? And the conclusion part, can you just, yeah. Okay, the it's conclusion right? basically, conclusion is basically to talk about now that you have analyzed, okay, let, let me just put down in point form huh, and see whether that works, okay? Basically, those two points should be enough. Okay, does that answer your question, Charmaine? Yes, thank you. Okay, any other question on the assignment? Please feel free to ask. Huh? Those of you, because it's already um, 4 o'clock, if you've got no question, you want to leave, you can leave. For those with questions, you can stay behind and ask me because we're at home anyway. So my time is available for you. Huh? Okay, thank you. Okay, bye, Amanda. Bye bye. Mm. Anyone else have any other question? Thanks.
Bye. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye, Justin. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, Justin. Thank you, Mr. Chong. Thanks. Have bye. a nice day. Have a nice weekend. You too. Good luck for coming test. Thank you. Mm. Bye bye. Okay. Any other questions from anyone? Okay, if you've got no questions, just sign out. I will leave when there's no one else remaining, okay? Just in case people want to ask more questions, I'll stay behind. Mr. Chong? Yes? Hi, sorry, just uh, one last question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I Go think ahead. I think Anna, Anna asked this question just now, but I didn't really hear. Okay. She was asking about Oh, I'm not sure. She was asking about getting articles from yeah. other sources other than the Sinal and Yeah, yeah. Um my reply was you can if you don't use Sinal, you can um Yeah, we use can do that, other, right? But no, that's only to get you started. Or I want you to <laughs> Um no, you can read those but don't use those as one of the sources is what I'm saying. Because you know if you go Wikipedia because those are not academic journals, they may not be legitimate. Do you understand what I'm saying, Charmaine? Yes. Okay. okay. So we only so, we should only get articles from the Sinal part. Yes, and also the if you get article from Sinal, you can also use the citation tool to help you do that. So you don't have to worry about whether or not you got the correct APA citation or not. Clear? Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hi, yes, Nicole. You want to ask a question? What does it mean, the democratic profile? Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, what, I mean, what, I mean, like, what is democratic profile? Demographic profile means the social background of the person. So when you look at your patient, right, you look at the case sheet, look at the person's age, gender, education, family structure, um, um, ethnicity, um, even which class, pay, uh, uh, which uh, ward the patient is in. If it's a C-class ward, chances are the patient is poor. And if it's an A-class ward, chances are the patient is wealthier, etc. Those are demographic profiles. That means social factors, huh? The various social characteristics. Okay, does that answer your question? Yeah. So for the okay. social factor, is it is it like how like the how the gender and his behavior be affect his health? Is it for the social factor? Yeah, yeah. So like for instance, just now my example was if you use me as an example, right? Let's say I'm I'm a patient with diabetes. So you may want to analyze me um, using the gender, like how being a male, I am socialized to eat a lot or eat unhealthy food, and I don't have to worry, right? Because if I'm fat, no one bullies me. You understand what I'm saying? I get it. Thank you. Okay, good. All right. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Any other question? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chong. I'm going to leave okay. the chat room now. Okay. Bye. 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 Good luck thank for Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye, Nicole. Bye. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Chong. You're bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Hi, Hong Tai, you see that? Okay, bye. Mm.